This is everything we know so far on day four of Israel and Hamas at war. Israel has continued to strike Gaza from above overnight, with authorities reporting 687 people killed so far, including 140 children. The United Nations says some of these attacks have even struck large residential towers, schools, and UN buildings too. An estimated 180,000 people have now been internally displaced in Gaza, with many more expected. <laughs> كامل من غير معلمها كل هذا ظلم هذا إرهاب حقيقي هذا إرهاب لا في إنسانية ولا شيء عائلات هنا مسطورة هادية بتنام بأمان ما لها علاقة بأي شيء اللي صار هذا صار بس انتقام Israel has declared a complete siege, saying electricity, food, fuel and water would be cut off, a decision which has been condemned by the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. It called the latest measure an act of collective punishment. Meanwhile, the extent of Hamas's devastating weekend attack is becoming more and more apparent. A hundred bodies have been discovered in Beri, a kibbutz near the Gaza Strip. The deaths reportedly amount to some 10% of its population. On Monday evening, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said it was a grave mistake to attack and and has likened Hamas to ISIS. Elsewhere, Iran has looked to distance themselves from Hamas's attack, but supports the movement. We are from the Palestinian side. We are from the Palestinian side. We are from the Palestinian side. We are from the مدبر و هوشمند و جوانان شجاع فلسطین رو میبوسیم ما به اونها افتخار میکنیم این هست the violence in the Middle East has sparked protests across the world as people show solidarity for both Israel and Palestine. So what happens next? Israel says the bodies of 1,500 Hamas militants have now been found in its territory and claims to have restored full control over the Gaza border. It comes as an unprecedented 360,000 reservists have been called up as fears now grow over a potential ground invasion of Gaza.